at Sun and Fun, we've come by and we're standing in front of this pretty Bear Hawk LSA, but that's not why we're here. It's not about this particular airplane. It's about many of these airplanes. I'm Dan Johnson and I'm talking to Paul Mills from Better Aircraft Fabric and that you're going to tell me some stuff about fabric that I probably don't know. So give me in the ballpark first. Why, why should I pay any attention to Better Aircraft Fabric? Well, we've got a product that has developed, been developed out of Germany here over the last 20 years, and uh, it is unique in fabric coverings insofar as when you receive the fabric, it is a completely finished fabric. It already has the ultraviolet coating on it. It already has the pigmentation on it. So all you have to do is pick the color of your choice. You take the fabric, you glue it onto the airplane, you shrink it to fit, and you go fly. So it's a very no simple painting. process. No painting involved. Wow, no paint. So let's well, let's focus on that. Okay. The Oratex is an actual system. It's a complete system. We have a number of different accessories that you would be able to acquire so that you could have a successful and professional result uh, application of the material on the aircraft itself. You know, not only do we have the fabric, which is available to you in one yard wide and two yard wide bolts of fabric. Oh, wow. Uh, yeah, that's you a know, pretty yeah, that's substantial width of cloth there. Yeah, we've been but able to. Do they to, come in rolls? I mean, so it does come to you in a roll, you know, in the width of your choice and in any linear you know uh, length you know just specify to us how much material you're going to need we'll be able to have a cut to size and and ship for you the oratex hot melt adhesive glue that we have which is completely uh, non-toxic you know you, it doesn't have any odor to it whatsoever uh, you know and you can use it in a limited space uh, you know or a confined space where you don't have a great deal of ventilation oh. you don't have to worry Another about factor, using, right yeah you know, we literally have customers out there that are building pit specials in an apartment or in a garage <laughs> that's attached to the house you know and it has uh, no adverse effect on any of the occupants whatsoever through the process of okay uh, what you're going to need in addition to the fabric itself is you're going to be needing the Oratex hot melt adhesive glue uh, you take an artificial brush you know, the glue out of the bottle and you paint the uh, structure of the aircraft. And then we also recommend that you put a layer of glue on the fabric itself. So you want to pattern the fabric, you know, to where the fabric actually touches metal, you know, or be it a fuselage or whatever the component may be. You know, you're going to have kind of like a contact cement uh, concept with glue on the back side of the fabric as well as glue on the uh, airframe component. Then you bring the two of them together and you take a hot flat iron ah, and that... Uh, that activates it somehow, huh? Right. What it does is that, you know, you've got to let the glue dry first because I told you it's got five active ingredients suspended in water. So you let all the water evaporate out and all you've got oh, left I are see. the, the active ingredients. Oh, I see. The water keeps it in, uh, in suspension or whatever That's the right correct. word so is. That's so that okay. you've got a medium where you're able to transfer ah. the glue from the bottle onto the, you know, component itself. Okay. The glue melts and it releases the active ingredients. That's act, there's actually a chemical process that takes place there, you know, that mixes all of those five active ingredients in the glue so that you get a superior bond, you know, once the glue is properly activated and, and cured. What, what if it was wood? Can you work with wood? Absolutely. Is there, is there a type of material that you can't use Oratex on? Not to my knowledge. Okay, all right, yeah, so it's a yeah. versatile fabric. Right. Whatever your airplane design is, they could choose your fabric if right. they wanted it. Right. As a manufacturer of the fabric, you know, we are a viable alternative to the legacy pre uh, fabrics that have been available in the marketplace here over the last 60 and 70 years. You know, but that does not give us the right to design the aircraft, you know, or deviate from sure, any sure. of the recommendations from the original manufacturer. But what about uh, special light sport aircraft that is fully built from the factory? Any of them that have chosen Oratex and Aura Color as the right stuff? Great question, Dan. As a matter of fact, we have one of those aircraft right out here at the field. Oh, good. Who? Yeah, this would be the uh, Outback Shock. Oh, okay. You know, that you see, it's covered in the Oratex silver material, and uh, the manufacturer really did an exceptional job in applying the fabric. He followed all of the rules and all of the recommendations <laughs> from the manufacturer and he's come up with a great result. So if you get an opportunity to look that plane over. Put strips of color or a text? Well, we do have, you know, 
products available out of the factory that you would be able to buy with your adhesive back, you know, so you would be it able to make that stripes, fabric. you know, with the, you know, Oratex based materials if you want to avoid painting altogether. Yeah. You know, that's part of the beauty of the Oratex material. You know, it's the fact that Oratex is a very functional product, you know, that has a great deal of versatility to it. So if you want to paint it, it's real simple to paint. You know, all you need is a clean surface and shoot a coat of paint on it. But by the same token, if you don't have the equipment or if you want to stay away from any obnoxious uh, odors or, or chemicals or anything like that, you can also use vinyls. You can, uh, you know, you can use decals. You can use, uh, you know, a variety of adhesive products that are readily available. And they'll stick in the to the Orotex, huh? And they'll stick to the Orotex, yes. Cool. Mm -hmm. Okay, so there's, that kind of answers that question a little bit and gets away from, from those that just are nervous about painting because I've talked to a number of builders that say uh, that's actually one of the tougher steps and it's kind of an art form as much as it's any kind of science or mechanical skill set. True, true. Mm -hmm. All right, so does Oratex cost more than regular fabric? I'm guessing because you've already done some of the work for them in the sense of giving it color? It does, you know, in a matter of speaking, but again, let's take into consideration the full picture. You know, I mean, you're going to pay more up front for the Oratex material, you know, because the fabric is already a completely finished product you know but then on the flip side you know when you apply Oratex to your airframe you're gonna save yourself a boatload of time you know when it comes to applying the fabric because you know you're essentially gonna do everything that you do with any other legacy product out there you know where you're gonna have to glue the fabric on there shrink the fabric to fit but with the Oratex after it's shrunk you know, you've got a little bit of finished work to do with applying the edge tapes, then you're ready to go fly. You know, with the other stuff, the work is just getting started. You okay. know, now you've got to dope it. Now you've got to put the, you know, UV protection on it. Now you got to paint it, you know, and then you've got filler and everything else. So, you know, it uh, is a tremendous time saver. I like to tease people a little bit and tell them that with Oratex, you no longer have a 10-year airplane project. <laughs> well, let me ask you a question. Since the color comes in it, and since people know that if you paint a whole airplane, it adds a fair bit of weight to an airplane. Absolutely. It's more than most people would think, not the least of which you didn't mention, is that paint itself is very expensive. Talk with the competition out there, we find by and large, you know, when you're looking at, say for example, a Piper Cub, you know, that particular size of aircraft and the amount of materials that are required on it, you know, typically you're going to find that the competition is going to be quoting them somewhere between $3,500 and uh, $4,000 for the cost of the materials. One thing that they don't tell you is that does not include paint. Yeah. You know, so that Which adds is, a you know, all the chemicals amount, that you need. Yeah. Yeah, and once you get to the paint, well, okay, what kind of paint are you going to get? You know, I mean, I talked to one guy at Oshkosh a couple of years ago, and he paid $948 per oh, wow. gallon of paint. Per gallon. Per gallon, wow, yeah. No. And by the time we added it all up, he had $13,000 tied up in his cub you know, for all the materials that he needed, and that didn't even in, even include labor. You know, with Oratex, I could have sold him everything that he needed, including our, you know, digital heat gun and iron, you know, and he could have gotten all that for less than $9,000. Oh, wow, he would have saved quite a bit of money. You know, it can be cost effective. You know, where the real beauty is, is in the labor savings. You know, if you hire an AMP mechanic and you have them put Oratex material yeah. on your airplane, typically, you know, if you spend, let's say, for example, let's go back to that $9,000 figure we were talking about. Now, you know, uh, that was everything that was needed to cover the airplane. That was it the is stuff, entirety. not that the labor. That was just the stuff, yeah. You know, but the labor would be, you know, you could probably get, you know, a mechanic to do it anywhere from six to $8,000. Yeah. You know, so instead of having a 35000 or a $38,000, you know, uh, covering job done on your airplane, with Oratex you could get by with, you know, 15,000, 16,000, wow, okay. somewhere in that So it could even be a significant way, uh, cost savings. It could be, it could be, yeah. Okay, yeah. okay, well, you know, I suspect this interview could go on for a while and we want to keep it a little bit shorter and leave a couple of questions left for people. Where do we go on the web to find you folks? And uh, where are you located here in the USA? We're located in the USA in beautiful downtown Anchorage, Alaska. You know, so I'm just a couple of, you know, just right down the street from. Yeah, you're uh, only like a fun. million miles from home here, aren't you? Yeah. It's a long, long way up ride. there, yeah. I know, but yeah. glad you came down here all the way to the other side of the country. So we've got a great technical staff available. As a matter of fact, we've got three different factory trained installers that are available here in the U.S. Two of them, you know, have gun will travel. They'll go out and they'll meet you at your hangar and they'll do the job right out there. Ah, beautiful. You okay. Know, so 
you are, could just hire it all done, you contacting you You could hire it all done, yeah. Beautiful. Yeah, we've, uh, we've had a number of customers that have taken advantage of that. So we've got a respectable uh, service program available, and uh, you know we can make it happen for you and, and give you the results that you're looking for. Sounds great. One more time with the web address, Paul. That's www.betteraircraftfabric.com. All right. I don't have much about the fabric until now, but I've got a lot about the airplanes onto which this fabric is applied, I'm sure, and lots of other affordable aviation. All that's available on buydanjohnson.com. Thanks for joining Paul Mills all the way from Anchorage, Alaska, and myself here all the way on the other side of the country at Sun and Fun. Thank you, Dan.